Okay, so why is your comic doomed, okay? And this is gonna to happen to everyone in your comic making career. You're gonna to get to a point where it could be your first comic, could be your 10th comic, could be your 100th comic. You are gonna have a cursed comic. It's gonna be doomed from the start and it's never gonna get made, okay? It's happened to me and I've got a story to tell you and hopefully to help you avoid this happening to you, okay? Now, about six years ago, I wrote a comic and I thought it was fantastic. It was inspired by um, a spin-off or a sequel to a creator-owned comic that I read from Mark Miller called Nemesis and I love this idea, but I knew that I'm never gonna get to work with Mark. So what I did is I took my idea and made it my own. Inspired by a few films that I love, I come up with my own unique story, my own unique twist on this particular idea, and it looks nothing like what you originally did. Now, I did what I always do, and I went out and found an artist, and paid the artists for their time, started doing pages, loved his portfolio, Pages were coming in and they were beautiful. Absolutely loved them. But what happened was, is as the project was continuing, we did not have a full net, because again, I still get on with him really, really well, and I paid him for all the work that he did. But what was happening was, the pages that were coming through wasn't a true reflection of how I wanted the comic to look and how I had it seen in my head. Now, I'm always up for artists putting their own stamp on a book, that kind of thing, but it just wasn't there. And sometimes when you're working on a comic, sometimes it just doesn't work. Sometimes the R and the words don't match up. It's no one's fault, it's just what happened. So as I said, the eyes still get on really, really well, paid him for his time, and we both walked away from the project, okay? So I started from scratch again, had to save up my money again, found a second artist. Now, the second artist, really, really talented, paid the artist, and they had the script. Obviously gonna work on this project around other better paying projects because they're a professional artist, but it got to the point where it was a year in and I hadn't seen anything. So I asked the artist, you know, oh, is this book gonna happen? And she said, unfortunately, I can't commit to it. So I said, I need to find someone else to do it. She was absolutely fine with that, but I needed to get my money back from that artist, which took a year because they'd spent it. And again, still on really, really well with the eyes, still a lovely person, but unfortunately, it meant that this comic was becoming more and more doomed as it went on, and it was more and more cursed. Eventually got my money back, found another artist. Now, next guy, again, really, really good artist. But what I found was is the portfolio samples that they'd showed me and the pages they started to produce weren't of the same quality. And after speaking to the artist, found out he had some personal problems going on at the moment and it was reflecting in his work. He was very apologetic and had to move on again. Really nice guy, again, still speak to him. So hopefully you can tell that I'm not a horror, horrible person. And if I am gonna stop working with someone, I always end on really, really good terms, but then I had to find another artist, and that artist, unfortunately, um, again, did a really nice test page, but it was clearly that their skills in their portfolio were not reflected in their sequential pages that they do regularly, if that makes sense. And again, really talented person, but it got to the point where I thought this comic was doomed, and you know, my buddy Totti, who I've had on this channel many times, said, Matt, look, I know you really, really care about this comic, I will even draw it for you. And I went, no, dude, like we are already working on two comics and we've got a third one planned for after. Can't give you a fourth one because that's gonna be too much pressure on you. And this comic is just not gonna happen. It's, I've tried, I've tried four or five times now and it's just not happening. Then I started this channel and I met a chap called David Cousins who is a very talented guy. Um, if you're on Twitter, go follow him. He's a very, very talented artist. And he reached out to me um, after I started the channel, not long after I started it actually, and he was asking if I had any examples or where he could find some examples of one-page comics because he wanted to pr practice his storytelling. So I wrote him one and it was really funny. I really enjoyed working with him. And based on that, I asked him if he would be willing to work on my doomed comic. And he said yes. But then things got worse. David's producing some great art, but then publishers started putting out comics with similar presence to what this story was about. And, and they all had similar titles. And I just thought this comic is just, it's just cursed. And it broke my heart, but we persevered. And David's produced some amazing heart. And I've just finished lettering the final page of that comic. And I've sent it to a few friends and the feedback's good. And it's gonna be going up on Kickstarter in a few weeks time. And this video isn't me like shilling my Kickstarter because you could be watching this in a month's time or six years time. The, and there's no link in the description for this book or anything like that. But the reason why I wanted to do this video is your comic is only gonna be doomed and only be cursed 
if you give up, okay? I could have gave up after the first time that, you know, this comic fell on its bum. I could have gave up the second time, but I didn't. So I wanted to do this video to show you that if you're passionate enough, if you're hungry enough, if you're determined enough, and you're willing to start again from scratch, if that project doesn't happen, your comic will get made, okay? So if you are feeling a bit deflated and that your projects are not getting, you know, lifted and getting to where they need to be because you can't find a writer, you can't find the funds, that kind of thing, just keep plowing on, keep chipping away at it, and you will get your comics made, okay? So hopefully that has lifted you up a bit. Hopefully you enjoyed that story about my Doom comic. And remember, if I can make comics, anyone can, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.